Leonard Nimoy, who earned a global following as Mr. Spock on Star Trek, a television and movie juggernaut, died today at his home in Los Angeles. His wife said the cause was a type of lung disease that Mr. Nimoy revealed he was battling last year. Tonight, we remember the actor's profound life and remarkable legacy. He played police officers, cowboys, and even the king of Atlantis. But in a career that spanned 65 years and scores of roles, there was one that powered Leonard Nimoy into the status of intergalactic icon. Mr. Spock. Vessel wreckage. Spock. Metal molds, conduit. The makeup team gave him the ears, but it was Nimoy, a Boston native, who put the emotion into the half-Vulcan member of the Starship Enterprise with wit, a wry sense of humor, and a slight raise of those eyebrows. His spot personified the eternal human dilemma, to live life based on reason or succumb to the dangerous irrationality of emotions. I love you. Nimoy made the character his own. Live long and prosper. Image of Sirac. Spock is definitely one of my best friends, the actor once said. When I put on those ears, it's not like just another day. When I become Spock, that day becomes something special. And Nimoy himself was something special. A jack of all trades in Hollywood, he was a successful director whose films included the hit Three Men and a Baby. He was also an accomplished painter and author. He even made record albums. After Star Trek, Nimoy appeared in the series Mission Impossible, had many guest starring roles, and even did some memorable television commercials. I'll see you inside. Reaction to his death illustrated his wide-ranging appeal. President Obama, quote, Long before being nerdy was cool, there was Leonard Nimoy. Leonard was a lifelong lover of the arts and humanities, a supporter of the sciences, generous with his talent and his time. And, of course, Leonard was Spock. Cool, logical, big-eared, and level-headed, the center of Star Trek's optimistic, inclusive vision of humanity's future. NASA tweeted, Rest in peace, Leonard Nimoy. So many of us at NASA were inspired by Star Trek. Boldly go. And from William Shatner, quote, I loved him like a brother. We all miss his humor, his talent, and his capacity to love. Nimoy's last public message to his many admirers was this tweet he sent on Monday. A life is like a garden. Perfect moments can be had, but not preserved except in memory. Live long and prosper. Leonard Nimoy, dead at the age of 83. Michael Garcia is the chief of communications for Starfleet, the International Star Trek Fan Association. Michael, you had the opportunity to meet uh, Mr. Nemo on several occasions. What was he like in person? That uh, Mr. Nemo was very congenial. He was generous with his time. He cared about his fans. Uh, even in the brief moments that uh, we got to to sit with him and talk with him, it was very, very clear that he appreciated uh, the fans, appreciated the, the people that enjoyed his performances, and he in turn treated everybody like they were his biggest fan. In order to, uh, to make those sort of performances where he's sort of unemotional on Star Trek, it takes quite an acting talent to pull it off in the way that he did. Did he ever talk about his, those skills and, and what he brought to that? Uh, not as such, no, but I think it was pretty clear and in, in agreement with you that, that it takes a tremendous amount of talent to be able to portray a character devoid completely of emotion and that we, uh, we felt that in Star Trek, Spock was the wide-angle lens on the human condition, that, uh, that they used his character essentially to talk about the human condition and, and examine it, comment it, and, uh, and basically portray it in the way that it was supposed to be portrayed. I know that you're in touch with a lot of people who are uh, Star Trek fans uh, tonight. Uh, what's the reaction and what's the, what's the mood that they have over Leonard Nimoy's passing? Well, obviously shock and sadness, uh, dismay. Uh, it's, it's, it is a, uh, it's a, it's a great tragedy. We, we've lost a, a great pop culture icon. We've lost a great role model. Uh, he had been in and out of the hospital, of course, and uh, his most recent release seemed like it was going to be a, uh, it seemed like it was a decent prognosis. So we were very shocked this morning to, and very saddened to learn that he had passed. 
Out of all the uh, the Star Trek episodes and all the moments, and we've seen, of course, the clips there of Leonard Nimoy, did you have a favorite episode, a favorite moment in the history of Mr. Spock? Uh, I would have to say that, that my favorite uh, uh, moment has to come from the Wrath of Khan, where we got to see Spock in a in a no-win scenario and him making his choice to sacrifice himself for the safety, you know, for his friend's safety. That, that to me, that was uh, my favorite moment and, and probably one of the pinnacles of his acting career. And how much of his, of his acting was essentially a continuation of what he was as a person? I mean, so few of us managed to actually meet him away from the cameras. Was, was he the same person when you were talking with him or asking for his autograph as he se seemed to come across when he was playing the role of Mr. Spock? Well, I think that he was, uh, I think that in, in the role, certainly he, he definitely en enveloped himself in the role when he was playing Spock. But when he was Mr. Nimoy, when he was Leonard Nimoy, uh, I would say that he tended to carry the Vulcan ideology of infinite diversity and infinite combinations with him wherever he went. Uh, he lived it in his life, in his written words, um, in his interactions, both real and virtual. And, uh, you know, to that end, he, he basically became this big welcoming. He was big-hearted. He cared very deeply for others. And I believe he was in a class of his own. Michael Garcia, the Chief of Communications for Starfleet, the International Star Trek Fan Association. Michael, thanks for joining us. Our condolences to all of you on this, uh, on this loss. Thank you. Thank you for having me, David. Thank you.